We're here in Kilkenny, in an 800-year-old castle, running an innovation camp for the entrepreneurs of the future. The innovation camp is a European pilot which we hope to replicate in other countries around the world. And in each one of those centres, we hope to pick a, a localised team that's global in its nature. We have to get students more involved through programmes like the Global Initiative, ensuring that we integrate ICT into the learning and teaching methods in our education system. The purpose of the Innovation Camp is to teach the principles of innovation, creativity, problem solving, about new technologies and about social entrepreneurship. There's a continuous debate about entrepreneurs, are they born or is it something that you can learn? I'm a firm believer that it's definitely something that you can learn. And the earlier kids start uh, to think about innovation, the greater chance to have it being successful later. We're taking the student through a four-step innovation process where they learn to understand the user needs. They will learn a lot about new technologies and how to apply those technologies to satisfy the customer. The customer today being senior citizens. My role is to let the young people know what it is like to be an elderly citizen staying at home, the problems that they face, to try and inspire the young people to come up with innovative ideas to help maintain them in their own home. And we try to like, gamify this process of innovation. We are broken up into different teams of five and we all have certain jobs to do. They're all competing and trying to solve the same problem. But they had different ways of doing it and we've designed the game so that their different skill sets will be awarded in different stages. The one thing entrepreneurs love is a bit of competition to encourage the students to really get involved. You can't beat having a game, having a bit of a, ultimately to have a winner. It's a very, very powerful technique. We're in the user stage. We try to put ourselves in the position of the elderly people, try to understand the most important problems. And now we're trying to see if any of our ideas could actually work. We have to research the topics. That's broken up for half the day. We're looking into problems with mobility within a nursing home. Transport or lack of transport. Social networking. This isn't just being set up as a, almost as an exercise. It actually feels, it feels to the students, it feels to me that the students could actually, could do something real. We're basically researching all the best technologies to best provide that service to the person. We're doing more of the work than just reading through books. We just kind of research it ourselves instead of just listening to the teacher. We don't get much of an opportunity to do innovation in school and this is a great opportunity for me and my classmates. At Intel we have a focus on women in technology and it's good to see here today that both the girls and the boys have come up with very innovative ideas. You're taught things in a different way in school and they stick a lot more when you learn them by researching and putting them to practical use. The third state of the process is uh, ideation, where we teach the students about systematic creativity and let them go through a real innovation process where they come up with uh, a lot of ideas collaboratively on how to solve these uh, particular issues that they've identified. We have to come up with a problem statement which basically all our ideas are going to come from. This is what we want to achieve. Basically the stage we are working on is brainstorming, creating all our new ideas for our new technology device. It just shows there's a piece for everyone in the game. You know that it, it can apply to all students regardless of their academic uh, ability or if they're just creative. It, it just, every student can get involved in it. I was in university for eight years and over those eight years I haven't had one day's training like this in how to bring forward ideas, how to develop ideas. It uses your creative side, which in sometimes in school doesn't happen because you just have a book, you learn what's in the book and that's it. This shows your independence, it shows your ideas, what's in your mind. The final stage of the game, the fourth stage, is where they uh, prototype their solution and pitch to the jury and they present their solution and try to convince the jury that they have come up with the best solution for those particular problems. The winning team would have proven to be good communicators, they've got a good understanding of the user needs and find technologies that can solve these particular problems and then finally they are able to make a good prototype of their solution and use visual communication to convince the jury that they've come up with the best solution for these problems. 
Today, we're glad to announce that the winner of this competition is Team Tomorrow with the chair. How do you find great ideas? Well, I think it's a matter of just constantly asking yourself, how can you do things better? Maybe we'll spur on some future entrepreneurs from all of us. You never know what the future will bring, so I could end up being an entrepreneur, and with this camp, I probably be, I'll probably have more experience in uh, finding ideas and uh, coping with them and how to get them out there. Now I'd even consider it as a career I enjoyed myself so much. Three, two, one! Yes, yes, yes! yes. Thank you for yourself. We'd like the students to leave here with the knowledge that they can affect change in society. And the camp has given them the tools and the confidence to do this.